Five or above, give it a shove. Four or below, keep it down low. Hi! Hi. It's Bob <laughs> and Paul again, and we're back in action. So, the first thing we're going to do is round a decimal. We're going to round the number 1.8562. So, Paul, where is the thousands place in this number? Which it's is the, the six, right here. Okay, so how do we round that? Don't you remember my rhyme? Oh, yeah! If it's five or above, give it a shove. Four or below... Keep, Keep it, it down, down low. low. And because the two on the other side. Right is side. On the right side, yes. Is below four, we're going to keep it at 1.856. That's our answer. This is the first exercise we're going to do. Now, we're going to do the same number, 1.8562. But we're going to round it to the hundredths place. Hundredth as in T-H-S. Now, where is the hundredths place? The hundredths place is at the five. So it's right here? Right there. So the saying, everyone knows it. If it's five or above, give it a shove. Four below, keep it down low. So we're gonna look to the right of the five and we see a, a six. six. That's that higher than five, so we're gonna give it a shove. Up to six. Cool. So the new change answer is 1.86. Oh! That makes more sense. So now, are we gonna keep going? Yep. To the tenths? We're gonna go down to the tenths place. Now, the tenths place is the eight, right? Of course. So, the saying is, five or above, give it a shove. Four, Four or below, below, keep it, it down, down low. low. And we look to the right, and it's a five. Five or above, so we're gonna give it a shove up to nine. So, our new answer is 1.9. Now, we're gonna round it to the one place. Oh, the ones place? Yep. Can you do that? You can. How well, do you do it, Paul? Okay. The ones place is right here. Uh-huh. It's the first number to the left of the decimal. So then you're going to look one place right. And the saying is, five or above, give it a shove. Four or below, keep it down low. So we see that eight is above five. So we're going to give one a shove. And it's going to turn to two? Exactly. So our new answer is two. That's it? That's it. Okay, well, I'm Paul. And I'm Bob. And we are out.